Hello, and welcome to AdGene, where we offer a better way to share plasmids. In this video, we will show you how to browse and search through AdGene's expansive online database. Whether you are requesting a specific plasmid from our collection or looking for an interesting article from your favorite laboratory, our website search is a powerful resource to get you to the information you want. From AdGene's homepage, you can locate our search bar in the upper right section of your browser. If you know the name of a specific principal investigator that you are interested in, you can enter all or part of their name into the search bar. From the results page, click the PI's name to view plasmids they have deposited with AdGene and access articles that they have published. If you know the catalog ID number of a specific plasmid you are interested in, you can enter that number into our search bar to access the associated plasmid information page. If you are unsure which specific plasmid will fit your needs, you can use keywords and filters to search AdGene's catalog for an item that matches your criteria. For example, let's say you are looking for a lentiviral plasmid with Cas9 containing a flag tag. If you enter lentiviral Cas9 flag, the search returns almost 6,000 items. Fortunately, by searching simpler and then using keywords and filters, you can find exactly what you are looking for in our database. AdGene search results will display items that match any one of the keywords entered. Instead of searching for all of the items at once, let's try searching for only Cas9. Already much more manageable. Now let's apply some keywords and filters to narrow down the list. In the additional search fields section, let's enter flag under the fusion protein tags field. This filters the list to only include results that specify the presence of a flag tag. Getting closer. Since we only want lentiviral Cas9 plasmids for this search, we can check off lentiviral under the Experimental Use Filter section on the right side of the browser. As you can see, by searching using keywords and filters, you can find results that match your specific criteria. In addition to our search bar, you can also browse our plasmid collection by category. Under the Find Plasmids dropdown, you can click the Browse link to access our curated pages. Say you are looking for a plasmid with a fluorescent protein, you can go to the fluorescent proteins page. If you are interested in plasmids for in vivo imaging, you can navigate to that subcategory. On this page, you can find some background information, links to relevant blog posts about in vivo imaging tools, and tables of relevant plasmids. If you cannot find a plasmid that you are looking for, you can use our plasmid referral form or send an email to help at adgene.org with a plasmid name and publication. Our scientist team is happy to reach out and request this material for our repository. If you have additional questions about browsing and searching AdGene's website, feel free to contact us by phone or email. Thank you for choosing AdGene, a better way to share plasmids.